Time now for Eyewitness News Call 12 for action. You had the pre-holiday shopping rush, then the flood of returns. And now shoppers are zeroing in on those items you brought back to the store in hopes of getting like new merchandise at a deep discount. Eyewitness News anchor Shannon Heggie joins us now with the details. Kelly and Mike, it's the next chapter of holiday shopping. All those items you rushed to the store to return are now getting marked down, and some savvy shoppers are scoring big deals. Discounts are there. You see the stores, uh, they're all offering some sort of a discount. This is a good time to shop. It's a very good time to shop. Experts say return rates this year are higher than years past because of the free shipping companies are offering. Manufacturers are working hard to refurbish returned items and get them back on the shelf. Many customers choose to ship them back. It's kind of what I did. I returned a broken item and I got a new one. Only those returned items go back on the shelf at a cheaper price. Companies like Amazon have warehouse deals on their website, which are marked down returned items. Target and Walmart do something similar. The only catch, remember to ask about their return policy. Lots of times the sale of these items are final sale only. However, some consumers skipped the return rush, knowing the deals they would find without all the hassle. I like as much as it's saving money, it's also just less stressful shopping in general at this time of year. However, some retailers won't put returned items back on the shelves. They'll actually use resellers online to take it off their hands. Now, before you buy online, make sure to read the product description so you know if it's been damaged at all. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer, you can call that same number on your screen. I'm Shannon Heggie, Eyewitness News.